getting the delay going here, getting things set up. On my end, just bear with me, everybody. Oh, the delay is just, I can't stand uh, starting this with the delay, it's horrible. As soon as I get this started up, I'll start uh, really getting into things with you guys. going on here all right all right guys you know I'm running on delay here so just bear with me and uh, welcome to the April edition of the uh, Great Barrier Reef trials um, I'm gonna have hopefully Palisite will be joining me for this and Try to give a whole new, uh, uh, another perspective into it. The Palisades played in the tournament before. Um, let me get him an invite in here real quick. And I got a couple other things to do while I'm, uh, All right, I got that done. Hopefully this works out okay here. I got to get the bracket up so I know who I'm watching. And then let me pop in and let the guys know to give me an invite when they're ready to go. Hey guys, how you doing? We're already in a match. You already started? Yeah, we started. We're playing team one. Alright, I'll go up to team three then, thanks. Yep. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. Hey, so, so far, are you, so far, are you streaming right now? I am streaming right now, and uh, I was going to get Team 1 and Team 4, but they said they already started. Oh, crap. So, uh, when you guys start, Red, could you throw me an invite? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. the joys of streaming. All right. So just bear with me, guys. We're waiting for the first invite. Uh, I was going to do Team 1 versus Team 4, and uh, that was going to be... Let me find them here. I was going to do Chief, Hold My Beer, and You Booty versus uh, Doggo, Light Bosemark, and Six Comet, but it looks like we're going to do... Uh, we're going to follow Red, Steve, and Kaz, since the other guys already started a matchup. get my actual uh, stream up here 
not stream, but uh, let me get my screen up so I can see what's going on. See how well I can multitask here. Oh, goodness. There we go. Got our first training room invite. And besides that, we're going to, have to play around a little bit of Streamlabs to get some stuff out of the way. Hopefully, I don't have the uh, the chat bar up over the uh, health bar of the other teams. Oh yeah, the April edition of the Great Barrier Reef Trials. Let me just run through the teams real quick, so you guys have an idea of what's going on. So with the draft last night, we got Doggo, White Bosemark, and Six Comet on Team 1. Crab Bucket, Matt, and Cagafuego on Team 2. We got the infamous Red Gaming Dino. Steve and Kaz for uh, Team 3. Chief, Hold My Beer, and You Booties, Team 4. Storm Eel, Ron Swanson, and Wobble Jelly for Team 5. Uh, my favorite, my favorites for the night, if I was going to be betting on this, would be Alistair, Part, and Jackson High Church, believe it or not. Um, infamous Monster Man and Mop Dropper, Team 7, they should be another strong team. Team 8, Derry, Jenks, and Neo Rider, they should be actually pretty strong in this as well. Uh, team 9, we're not sure about. Aries had a uh, real life issue, so he's not going to make it, so I'm not sure who's filling in for him. And then we'd have Roughway and uh, Chico kept on that team. And then Team Nine's going to be another interesting one with Elephant, Marksman, and Rhino Gator. So, we'll see what's going on. This one should be... Let me pull up the bracket real quick. My, bear with me as I'm running through uh, different uh, devices here trying to do this. So yeah, Team 3 versus Team 2. Everybody give a hand for Soulfire. He's going multifaceted to get this one done. Evening, everybody. Hey, Palisite. Yeah, sorry, I'm fashionably late. That's all right. Well, we had That's one. Let me pull up the volume a little bit so mm -hmm. everybody can hear you better, hopefully. Sure. I'm pretty loud on my own. Yeah, well, I'm... I still haven't quite figured out all the ends of streaming yet, so, uh, and I noticed last night when I recorded the draft for the guys, I had to, uh, adjust some volumes. So, yeah, we, we have our first snag of the night, Palace Light. We had, uh, the game that we wanted to follow, they started early and, and, uh, didn't invite me. Yeah. So we're actually going to be watching Blue, Steve versus Matt, Crab Bucket, and crew. All righty. So we have is a classic Rage pair and a good ex Latin player, Rule of the Waves participant in Cass. And for Matt's team, Crab Bucket's a good player. And I don't know much about Cargo Fuego. But Crab's a good player, has a lot of ships. I ran with him one time in this tournament. Rather interesting guy. And Matt is, he's like Matt from Wii Sports, in a way. Yeah, and then, I mean, I know fighting you guys in the, the December tournament, you and Kaz were, you guys were a hell of a team. Yeah, I, I picked Kaz because I think a lot of people didn't know who he was because he didn't change his name. I uh, knew his... Like, kind of followed me. He was just in my friends list. So I saw a new name on him. Hard to keep track of names, but I was able to figure out who he was. So I saw he was available, so I did pick him. Yeah. He, was, he had a lot of luck in that Colombo. I think that maybe he shouldn't have had, but <laughs> that we were yeah, we were tough that time. But y'all were better than we were. Well, Alistair and I have been playing together for a long time, so that really helps. 
Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, crazy yeah. Jack. All right. He's, on, in, he's in a annoying boat. I was in a very bad ship counter on the 40. Uh, what was it? Z42, I think. Z42. Z42. 44's turn 9. Well, he, uh, yeah, I mean, and we very hard. we we did a little coaching on Jackson to, to help him get positioned right. Yeah, there was one game where, you know, Will and I basically had him on our shoulder. We were just watching him. But he got better as he went on. He was in a very tough ship for me to deal with. Yeah. All of Ruka after the buff that got done to it, but in the ship pool that was allowed, that was a ship that was very difficult. Because he's got really quick reload on German AP, which is not good. Yeah, and I and I had my first epic uh, stream screw up. I, forget, I I didn't get the invite on you before they went into it. Ah, great. Ah, yay. Did my game time out or something? That's why you couldn't end me. Probably did. Oh no! It was all. It was all. It was on me. And Mr. Hi Hi, yes, uh, this is a uh, tech tree only to, tonight. So we've got. Uh, wallet, does not, wallet does not help when it comes to buying gold things. <laughs> no. So we got Red in the Oland or Mr. Blue Gaming Dino. Kaz is in Vittorio Veneto. And Edinburgh is. Oh, Steve's in, in Edinburgh. Okay. Versus uh, London Calling from Rage. Who is in the Lightning? Mr. Crabby Bucket is in the Hawk, and Matt's playing the Talon. Wait, and we're on. Uh, of Kaga? Yeah, I guess uh, Kaga couldn't make it. And we got shots out here. That's an interesting pick to Talon, and and they're already smacking Steve in the Edinburgh pretty good. Doom Spear Lightning coming in at Steve in the smoke cloud. I think that's got a chance to hit some of them. Steve's going to take. Wow, he dodged out all but one torpedo there. Blue's getting aggressive in the middle of cage center control. Going for the island with his Oland. So control is going to Steve and Red and Kaz there for cap control. Matt's sitting out of the cap farming away. I Not exactly no. ship known for farming in town. Yeah, he's sitting back doing what it does best. No real appreciative uh, damage being done right now. London calling dropped a doom spear in towards uh, red at the island, but that's going to miss. This one might come down to just straight cap control. I don't see a lot going on. Uh, Hey, what's going on, Bismarck? You're up very, very early for uh, your time. Yeah, uh, Red's just hanging out in the center island there, controlling the area. Vittorio's taking, uh, he's almost a half health now, so he's taking some damage. But he should be able to back around the island and stay safe. Matt is still outside the cap. Well, Crabs dropped down to about half health now. They focused him down a little bit. Yeah, Kaz is playing it super smart. He's backed around the island. He's backing out of the cap. He's going to be totally safe. But yeah, cap control is straight to Red and Steve. Team three. Matt's entering the cap finally, but the other two had to back out. And Steve's just camping an island. This is kind of a... Kind of a slow game. Real slow played game. I'm, I'm kind of uh, shocked by it. That's three, min three and a half minutes left. It's 176 to nothing. Uh, both teams are, the you know, about on the same amount of health. This one's really, I, I can't believe how slow played this one is. Optimistic Doom Spear coming in from uh, London calling into the center cap. Red is pulling out, possibly... Nah, he's gonna he's he's gonna dodge everything. Oh 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 maybe. 
Yeah, he uh, he dodged them all. A little closer than it should have been. Kaz and uh, Crab are about quarter health each now. So they are trading damage like great, you know, great. And team team two there has finally flipped the cap, so it's uh, one ninety six to twenty eight. Kaz is about a quarter health now, almost down to an eighth. So they're focusing him down. Steve's putting a smoke cloud up for him behind the island outside the cap. Wow, oh, it's. It's, it's going to be close. Red's going to take some fire from, uh, ooh, big shot coming in from the Talon. Took out Red steering, but uh, he, he, he's, he remained unscathed. The question is, is the Lightning, can he take him out? Red's one of them players where he's probably got more experience driving a broken ship than a, than a good one, <laughs> than some players. Yeah, he's he's pretty strong, but they, they forced him out of the cap. It's 196 to 96 now. Kaz is healed up to about a quarter of his health. Owen's about a quarter of health. Hawk in the, uh, with Krabby Bucket there is uh, half health. 112 to 196. They're going to come back. Yeah, uh, Team 2's got de definite cap control now. Minute 20 left, 196 to 136. Trading on the health there. Uh... All right, Team two, team 3 starting to flip the cap back. So we're at a stalemate here with uh, 196, 136. Torpedoes out, speculative. They're not going to hit anybody. 50 seconds left. All right. Team Matt, London, Colin, and Crab Bucket have flipped the cap in their favor, so it's 196-148. And they've pushed, uh, they've pushed Steve and Red and Kaz out. They're uh, kind of turtled up on the uh, in the back corner now. It looks like Kaz is going to go down to focus fire. He's not, He's got a... Oh, he was able to damage con that fire. 180, 196, 18 seconds left. There goes Kaz. And it looks like Team uh, Team 2 is going to take it. 268, 196 with 10 seconds left. They're holding the cap. They've got the ship advantage. That was a hell of a push. I, 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 man, I'm so, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed I didn't get you in on this. That was a hell of a push. No From on. Team Matt there, Team 2. It's Matt's kind of... One. It's kind of one of those things there with the... Uh, Alright, let me see where we're going from here before I leave the room. That's, That's team winning. I, I consider that an upset win. Uh, I don't know. be honest with you, I'm not sure where to, where, where to call that one. Because... The question was, is when Red picked Steve last night, who was going to be the cruiser? Who was going to be the destroyer? That's a, that's a, good, that's a good question, because we all know what they can do together in destroyers, but there's only one destroyer for 3v3, that is right. Exactly. I'd be... I'd be hesitant if Steve was against me in any ship, though. <laughs> I'll be honest with you there. All right, let me let Matt know just to pick me up in here. Okay, I'm online now. My game might have timed out, so maybe that's why you didn't see me. But even if you had seen, gone, went to invite, I think my game timed out, so I wouldn't have been there anyway. All right, got the invite from Matt. I'll get you in here. Palace, there we go, right there. All right, let's see what we've got. Heading down to the spectator spot. We're on ball and base count. Yeah, this is going to be uh, Trident Domination. Trident. Okay, that's an interesting map. That's a map that I've seen. Now, I love that choice by London. Aki Zuki. I love that ship. Oh, yeah. Well, knowing me, you know I like the gunboats in general. I would love if they stuck with that pick, but they're probably not going to. Yeah. 
Just, uh, <laughs> hey, guys watching the stream, can you guys hear Palisade okay? Now we I wait. I get louder, but it's Discord. Can't yeah, no, no, no. I'll, I'll adjust the sound on my end, but now we got the delay to work with, so I'll know here in like two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. We have to back out. Yeah, I see that. Another room. And take a look here. See what we've got. We have to go to the crowd's bracket. See what we we're looking at. See if. So far, watched Team 3 versus Team 2, which would mean Team 2 is facing Team 10. And Team 10. We are boot team. All right. Team Let's 10, see. that's one. Uh, that one right there, those guys, I think they're going to be a dark horse in this one. That's going, we got Sammy, Marksman, and uh, Gator. You know, uh, I've played enough. SOS with Elephant to know you know he's he's a very capable battleship player. Very, he's a great guy to talk to. Yes, he is. One time I was in a team with him. We uh we got pretty unlucky. One game we lost. We almost had it. That was against Steve's team. Actually, we almost had it. Just couldn't get good shots on Steve. He's a tough guy to hit. But I had a great time talking to him. He's a blast. He's a he's a heck of a nice guy. Um, great oh, yeah. guy in the community. So we got, let's take a look here, what we got for ship composition. I like what I saw. Okay, so Marksman might be taking another fold on the same thing. I like the Tier 8 gunboat destroyer in the Jap line. It's a very fun ship, and if you can get it behind an island corner, it's free real estate half the time because you can lob a lot of tiny shells, get good fires. The only thing that's weird about them is the torp angle. But you can, like, with Rugamo, what I liked so much was you, you can position it where it's got three turrets on the back, and you can face backwards. The fuck is Spruce Tate? Alright, hang on, who just jumped in here? <laughs> hey guys. How's it going? Good. Uh, Y'all playing? No, we're streaming. I gotcha. I gotcha. Now we're, we're co-commentating matches here, uh, and uh, we get one, get ready to start up here soon. Okay, yeah, I'll get the fuck out, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey. Lucky games. Okay, so we've got... Oh, man, they're not being interesting. Darn it, I wanted them to be interesting and take Akizuki. Now, Charles Martel, well, that's an interesting choice. And Matt Knuckles with the Wichita. Which is an interesting pick. Wichita? No. Wichita, I actually really like because it's got great DPM, good accuracy. So let's start with Team A. Got a Hawk and a Hawk. Well, this is the Cruisers is where it gets interesting. Draw Martell, long range HE spammer on paper. And Wichita, great DPM at mid range. And I like the Olin, too. Olin is a great reconnaissance destroyer. It's also a great harassment ship. Though for this tournament with only three ships, I would think maybe something that hits a little harder. Yeah. He can Olin. I mean, the Hawk's a great choice. I oh, good speed. personally, just me, myself, and my, you know, from my experience, I'd take the uh, Vladivostok into this, but that's just me. Nope, looks like Marksman. Looks like Marksman uh, went dead stick on us. Yeah, Marksman looks like, whoa, got some jump in there. Teams okay. are going opposite, so you got. Green team going to B and red team going to AB or green team going BC. I like, okay, so Lightning is going for B. He's looking for an opening on Matt, but Matt already knows what he's probably going to drive into here. Now he, now he knows for sure. However, I will say green team's got a good chance here. If Gator pushes straight, they could try to box Matt in and get him moving. Yeah, I'm not Matt sure I, bring the BB in. definitely not sure I like the, uh, the island uh, hugging there by the uh, Charles Martel. That one I'd, I'd flank around, and then you can encircle Matt. Yep, because the team at A is actually just starting out. They could have started on it and just turned sideways. Exactly. So now they're they're uh, doing Lightning. what they're doing what Green Team should have done, pushing around. Okay, Lightning put torps out. Matt's starting to approach. Sees torps, or maybe he won't. 
No, I think he's going to take a couple of these. He's going to take maybe that first one. Oh, just, just skimmed really it. Just skimmed it. I think he took one. I think it was a little laggy, but I think he took it. Mm, doesn't look like it. But look at the old one coming right in, taking B cap away. He's going to turn and go out. And they, this team's kind of left the elephant out to dry. They pushed up, and now he's got no help out back. Now he's on, he's on a flood, puts it out. All Matt has to do is get in range and start lobbing some shells, and he's going to get in some trouble there. And what red team should be doing now is pushing this hawk after their battleship. Oh, but Matt just took a big hit. I think it's a little too late. They should have gone after him earlier. Yeah, I think the, I think Krabby and the Hawks being a little uh, too passive there. Matt had to go defensive after taking that big hit. Yeah, he's in trouble now, but they could have had him in trouble the first ninety seconds of the game. Yep, yep. They should. I I really agree. They should have pushed around. All right, now Gators finally pushing around. Hawks looks like he's healing. Yeah, he's healing back up. All right, now this is the fight right here. It's the Oland and the Charles Martel. Oland's taking the big hit. And we got to keep an eye on Marksman there. He's uh, looks like he's going one on one on the uh, the hawk there. He's got to know, know he's there since he's flipping the cap. I don't know why the Martel turned in there. He could have stayed against the island and kept his guns in the in the fight. Marksman going in for the cap. Close game though. Still close game. Marksman take the hit. Corpse going out. I think Marksman's going to try to aim some torps in this uh, hawk to try to keep it from pushing in because this hawk's basically got him. I don't know why the hawk is backing up right now. He should have been up a little closer, maybe turn left, go by that island. Charles Martel on really low health now, taking hits from Matt. Yes, he is. And, and they're not the going to trade, definitely awesome. not going to trade, but how, what's the hawk doing here? Red team's pretty close to having this game. Oh, can they the lightning is now juking with the battleship, not able to support his teammates in both low. Charles yep. Martel is out of the fight. The hawk is kind of stretched out. Well, Charles is Charles Martel's healing up. That's, here's the question: Is is elephant gonna be able to swing around and get Matt? You know, it's one. Look, it's coming across. Crab could fire a solid and maybe catch the Martel before he hides. Let's see if he can get that shot. Marksman backed off. Elephant. Going in. Matt to gets the light. Another close one. And yet, and yet, with one ship left, the hawk is still backing up. Very conservative play by that hawk. Elephant going for the torps. Elephant gets Matt. Here comes Crab, and Crab gets sandwiched. Good game. That was, a, that was a great game of uh, tit for tat, cap control. Team two taking the win on this one. I think the lightning played good for uh, that one team, keeping everything kind of bouncy. But I think the Marcel was a bit too passive, and the Hawk got spread out too much, so they lost a lot of time there. Yeah, that was. Uh... I like what they did on Matt, but they could have done that maybe a minute earlier. I it's it's a, it's the interesting thing about this particular tournament is when you playing with players you don't necessarily play with all the True. time. That is a good that's a good point. Evening, folks. What's up, Mr. Evening. Jackson? The event organizer in the <laughs> This is the authority. I am I am the authority. All right, let me hang on. Eric Cartman, respect my authority, or just the authority? I am, I am the authority, and you shall respect it. All right, that's it, Matt, sir, will do. I'm going to change something up here because my sound is like trash with you guys on here, so let me try this. It's Jack. It's the wit of Jackson's energy, man. Can't handle it. Can't handle the goat power. No, I'm like I said, I'm playing around with some stuff here, trying to get some get the sound right, but I'm having issues. That didn't work. That just killed everything. Uh, Got a knife right through its heart. <laughs> that just crushed everything. So let's try this. 
because maybe you could fix it now. No, it's it's my end. I'm still trying to. You got you know everybody's got to like understand. I'm still trying to learn how to do all this fun stuff. They should. I don't know why Jack like make this a lock channel, like with like a rule for us so people can roll up in here. Prime one rolled up. Yeah. Well, I can. I can switch. You. I can. I think I can switch us over. Uh, the first loser bracket rounds are coming in. Uh, round one, team three one over team nine with a forfeit, and team three one over team five in two point two. All right, let's pop down. I, I gave you rolls. We can pop down to a private VC right now. All right, sounds good. All right. Now we now we want to. Prime ones and, and goat jumping in. Well, the uh, Mr. Goat there is the uh, is is the part owner of the tournament, so he. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, like I said, now if I can just figure out how to get you, you and me talking right without you sounding like you're on a tunnel on the uh, for the stream. Like I said, everybody that's watching, just bear with me as I'm working through all these old technical difficulties, because I'm a little, uh, I'm a bit of an old man here, and I haven't had a computer, you know, I I'm still working through all these, uh, fun computer things. All right. Hey, sh hey chip, chip off the old block's pretty sharp. So I wouldn't doubt you are, too. All right, why, oh, why am I having... Tony, it's just Jackson, man. Jackson, Jackson fact. <laughs> He's, He's got, got a great tournament that I will say. Yeah, I said it's a, it's a, it was a great idea on his part. All right, so we got. So I'm trying to figure this all out. Let's see if I can get ourselves a uh, another invite here. Yeah, big one up. Like I said, it's an interesting, it's an interesting tournament. It's an interesting setup. 3v3 is actually, I would say, harder than 4v4 in some cases. Yeah, Especially with the... just one little mistake and uh, team six and, all right, so let me let, let me let the guys know when they get an invite to give me an invite. Barry, I'll be right back. Sounds good. Unfair for everybody. Hey, hey when hey. are you guys uh, getting an invite? Uh, I we're trying to get Matt to figure something out. Uh, as soon as we do, we will invite you. All right, appreciate it. Uh, played the first two matches, and then their, their original player finally showed up. They claimed he was an show, so. Yeah. Out what they're gonna do. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, which happened with which happened with Infamous's team, but Infamous showed up and he started playing. So I'm yeah, but he said he was gonna be there. He told him I'm gonna be late to the first match. That's the difference. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Well. I'm... All right, pal. It's like we're having a little uh little technical difficulty with the uh one of the players that came in a little late and a potential. I don't want to say potential uh, forfeit because of it, and yeah, the, the 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 moderators are trying to work that out right now. What are you talking about, uh, Team Two? I'm not sure. Well, we got an invite though, so just here we go. Let's take a look at what we've got. All right, got Jack High Church and Alistair. And uh, so this would be Alistair, Mister Part to Coop. I am not even trap, Mister Part. Who is one hell of a battleship player? Yes, RJ Kibirt does. I think is how you pronounce it. Though I'm no expert at that language either. I, I want London to stick to that Akizuki. I want to see a fun play. You know, this is lightning meta. Uh, I'd like to see something a little different. I did like that team running an Olin. That was something different and nice. And that running a witch thought was pretty cool too. Well, this will be the uh, this will be the big showdown because I faced Part so many times in SOS, and I know he is just a fantastic a battleship guy. player. Part is tough. That's a cruiser. 
Uh, I know him from having to fight him. Uh, I think the two of us are probably some of the better, uh, if not the best, Soviet battleship players on the server. And oh, yeah. and he's he's pretty crazy with them. He's, he's 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 he beats me quite a bit with those. But he's uh yeah. Pair him up with Alistair with the with a uh, potentially a Wichita. That's a heck of a uh, combo. I like Alistair following Matt and taking Wichita as well. Those are, those are probably, if you got a hand on Rage, Rage Cruiser Trophy, you got one hand on is Matt, the other hand is Alistair. And neither can, uh, Scar's extended warranty right now. So the phone calls he kept getting were actually right. I'll tell you a story. One time I was in fifth grade. And I had just gotten a, an iPhone. It was an iPhone 4S, man. I think it was a brick. I could have thrown it at somebody if I had defended myself. And one time I got a call about my uh, car insurance being expired. In fifth grade, I definitely got a car. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they call you. One more minute? No problem. One more minute. Game. We can wait. All right. Let me f why, oh, He's why. trying to get a little crazy. Yeah, I got you echoing through the stream, and I'm trying to figure out what am I doing wrong here that that's happening. Was it working for the first game? No, it's been... Um... For some reason, I'm not having you run through, I'm not having you, you're not running through the uh, system right, so you're coming over through my speakers, not my, not my screen. Because I don't have, I got to stream this through, I got a, a mirroring software for my uh, iPad. Here's Partick. And Atlantic Co. is not going to work this time. That got your second thing. Well, I've changed to... There you go. Live was much better. All right. I yeah. still say they never nerfed that ship until they changed the Cheshire broadside they can reload in three seconds. Yeah. And Cheshire plus two, actually. So, and Team A is wanting to do Wichita Hosho FBR. Come in for a real boring show with which talks goes bye bye. <laughs> right, Hawk and London's probably gonna go to that Olin. Though I, I that Akizuki has been teasing with has been exciting me a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. London's a good player. I I wasn't surprised to see him in Rage. He's a good good player. I've seen him in Randoms a couple times. He's a tough cookie. No, he's. Yeah, yeah, like I said, he just joined up and, uh... Tough guy to go against. Yeah. Maybe he had another name at some point and I just lost who he is. He did. He came from he came from the Perky fleet. You know by chance what his name was? I believe that's Doughboy. Oh, the Doughboy. Okay. All right, so we got Big Race... I'm going to stop screwing around with my settings here and commentate a match here. Absolutely. All right. So we got the, the Hawk, uh, the Wichita, the Owen versus the Lightning Wichita, and the Vladivostok. Yep. So Team 2 is sticking with the same ship setup they had. Going against the uh, red team with a Wichita, Lightning, and the ship you were looking for last team, Vladivostok. With a very skilled player in it for Vladivostok. Yeah, he's, like I said, he's he's a tough one, for sure. All right, let's go to the ship view, or the overhead view here. All right, Oland and Wichita are going to go, it looks like they're all kind of going to storm A. Not a bad strategy. I mean, usually in randos on that side, you go for C, but they were already spawned to go at C, so they'll probably be more heavy that way. Oland is going to A, Lightning is going to B. The Vladdy Vostok pushes up to maybe get a cross shot from that across that little gap. Maybe Alistair takes C and comes down. 
Well, they're they're good. holding Jackson, they're raining Jackson in right now. Yeah, you can see it. So but you're Jackson, losing the you spotting might... power. Yeah, roping, roping him back, back. He, he could be at that island or something facing ahead, keeping spots, but. Like Jackson, when we, uh, all right, glad he's starting to take shots. When we played with Jackson, we, we had to rein him in quite a bit. He's a little excitable. So we kind of held his hand through uh, quite a bit of it. But he, see, it was, he was good. He listened well, listened to what we were doing. All right, so, yeah, it's kind of a stalemate here until Alistair swings around. Now, that's the aggressive cruiser play I like to see. Alistair knows he's got nothing ahead of him. He can kind of swing around. Parts going to be able to tank so much damage in that thing. All right, they got Jackson swinging back into B-cap, towards B-cap right now. And if they catch the Yoland out, uh, London Calling could be in trouble. Owen's a ship that can't take a lot of punishment. It's got no smoke to hide itself. It's All right, here's the question. Is Jackson going to eat those torpedoes? Yes, he is. There's two, three Owen torpedoes and a damage control needed there. And he might be stuck. He might be, uh... He's still taking heavy hits. Yeah, he's kind of hugging that island. He's in a... Uh, fetal position in a way, as I like to call it. He's kind of hugging the island, trying to look for an angle to turn out, but All right, I think Matt's going to give him a big old hit right here. He's sending torques, but I think that will cost him the game. Because Matt's going to send a salvo, probably. That's gonna All hurt. right, he went dark. Matt's missed, Matt missed him there. And here comes Alistair swinging around. Okay, so he wasn't detected when he did those torques. Yep. And look at Matt. Matt's going right into those torques. He's going to take all six. Looks like one, wow. two, he's going to take four. There's a flood. Damage con that. The interesting fight now is, is Alistair versus the Hawk. Wichita nose in against the Hawk. There goes a main a, the main gun out. Oh, Alistair I might mean, take a torpedo or two. He takes two of them. There's two a flood. Vladdy's coming in on that, so now this is an even fight. Very even fight. Alistair's uh, can damage con that flood, so he's from a flood. Wichita is a very tough ship to hit front on but that flood's gonna hurt and alistair alistair you know he played that in uh not this past rule of the ways but the one before that and was damn effective in it i think alistair's got a way out of this though but now they're losing b cap and jackson really doesn't have a choice but to go at b which right here with these olin torps is yep, not there's another torpedo hit one. and he is detected all this olin needs to do is hit him a couple times and he's out got hit all right, Owen lost him there. Him. But Matt, Matt got and him. And Matt gets him. Coming from up top. Out of left field is Matt, and Matt's starting on the Vladdy Vostok. Alistair's starting to make an advance towards the Hawk that he couldn't finish off earlier because of that annoying flood. But this one has turned around very quickly here. All right, so the big fight now is can Alistair get on? Uh, they're going to play Ring Around the Rosie here and. uh Glad he's going to be, uh, well, let's see what uh, Park can tank for him. Because I mean, Alistair can get around on the Hawk and has a rapid reload ready. He could be, uh, he yeah, could take it is, out. The Hawk's in a very bad position here. He's got, um, he's got the Vladdy in front of him and the Wichita coming on his six here. He's yep. got no way out of this. Yeah, Hawk's he's done. All right, 243 to 245. Two caps in control of Matt's team. Uh, Parte Kibirtas will go down to Olin Torpedoes. Yes, he will. Alistair's looking for a way to get back into this one. He can push that Olin down and take B, but Matt's just waiting for him up top. Alistair's going to have to do one hell of a play to bring this one back. Now, a minute 20 left. I don't see that one happening. I think that one, I think this one's pretty much over. Owen's just uh, piecing out. Owen's going up top. They can see him probably staying over there. Matt's been kind of getting wide this whole game. I can't see him really coming down. Yeah, he's turning up. 
Yeah, he's just gonna. He, there's no no sense. He can just sit there and run, hide, and stay dark. Now Alistair catches a torpedo. There's a flood. No yeah. one's coming back down. Yeah, this one's definitely over. Let's see what Alistair can do with his holding. Maybe he can't see him. I didn't realize that Jackson was undetected when he uh, shot those Torp on Mac, so he was taking hits pretty recently to it. Nah, I don't think Alistair can see that Owen. No, no, he can't. Just takes a hit from that there. Or maybe that's the Owen shooting at him. I think that's the Owen shooting at him. Take a couple Torps there. He will remain standing. Another well played game by Team Two. That Owen's being played very well. Just being a constant annoying thing that keeps hitting you at a certain weird places. So very good play there by London calling on that Owen. Kind of was the glue that kept it together. Crab Bucket held on for a long time. He eventually had another out. He played that pretty good considering he was the heat the whole game. Yeah, no, that's uh that's a that was a pretty crazy match there. So we should have Let me check the brackets here and see what's going on. I don't know if we can catch a loser's bracket game. So we just saw was uh was that six and seven? That was uh that should have been six and two. That was three point one. That was six and yeah, two. Yeah, so we should have the winners bracket final here. So Matt should be when this updates. Matt should be the one inviting. So we should just stay here. Team one, I, I was uh, a little unsure about how how well they would do, but they're uh, another surprising team. Doggo, I mean, Light, Bosemark, and yeah. Well, Light was saying that he hadn't played for a while, so he wasn't sure how he was going to be able to, you know, how he's going to perform tonight. Cause he hasn't played for a while in competitive, so. And it's not Doggo. It appears to be Chris 2004. Oh, well, there's so a. You got Chris. Chris is a way more active player than Doggo. He's a sharp tack, that kid. Uh, I, I played with AU and Skirmish a couple times. They make fun of us. They would make fun of Chris relentlessly. That, that guy can play. I wouldn't joke about him. That guy can play really good. No, Chris is. I fa we faced him many a time, and he's uh, most very nice guy to yeah, talk to. Most known for his lion play at Tier 9. Yeah. <laughs> Being a mad lad to take a lion. Got a good HE chance, though. I don't think it's got. It can burn pretty good. So I me... find with that UK Battle Clip Lion, it's like the even tiers you want AP and the odd tiers you want HE. Conqueror, Queen Elizabeth, Monarch, they got great AP. You should sleep on it. But the KGV and the Lion and the Orion, for the Orion, you can use whichever you want. The Orion's amazing for its tier. All right, so. Like seven and the nine, you want to kind of stick to HE because Lion's AP is pretty disappointing. So we're going to be watching the winner's bracket final, which is Team 1 versus Team 2. Team 6 just dropped down to loser's bracket 3.2, where they're going to be facing Team 3, which is Red and Steve and Kaz. Team 8. That's a good Team 2. We'll probably, might be a good chance we'll see them at the end as well. Yeah, it's, uh... I, I'm, but they're going against Team 6, which is also very tough. Yeah, it's... I mean, like I said, there's match. always interesting matchups in here. And we're waiting on uh, court. Well, the bracket still hasn't updated Team 7 versus Team 10 and Loser's Bracket 2.1, so we don't know who Team 8 is facing. Team 7, Infamous, uh, Chad Bailey, Mod Drop, Mop Dropper. And Team 10, Marksman, Elephant and Rhino, Father Murderer. Team 8, Barry Jinx and Neo. I said I when I started the stream up, I you know I mean I was I was going through the teams and the names and, and you know who was gonna be who I thought was gonna be strong teams, um, you know honestly with I mean not being biased or anything, but I thought Team Six was gonna be the uh, the favorites in this one with Alistair and Park and Jackson and Jackson, Jackson 
Dax is entertaining wherever he goes. But I knew Derry's team was going to be, you know, they were going to be a tough out. Uh, I wasn't sure about Matt's with who they were playing with. I wasn't sure how that one was going to work out. And I wasn't quite sure about Red and Steve, like I said, the cruiser issue. Looks like they took Red and Navidi and Steve and threw them. Kaz is being battleship, I guess. He's a, he's a very good uh, preemptive positioning battleship player. He knows when to push. He knows when to back up. He can play his own game. That's a key thing for a battleship player that you have to learn when you're playing comp. And not all players have it, but the ones that do are very tough to go against. You know, the kind of player in skirmish where, you know, you're on encounter with two other battleships and you can protect yourself without using your teammates. That's, that's kind of the difference you're looking at there. Gonna ready up now, so I'm not because I'm still I'm still fighting with the audio uh, here. It, it just kicking my butt. I'll have to do a test stream with somebody else on here and try to get this audio to straighten out. Yeah, no problem. It can always be a bit hairy. Now, see, I'm listening to it on my uh, on my end here uh, in the background, and it sounds it sounds like I had everything straightened out. Now you can take a look now and see how it's doing. Comes like postmark Benson. Doing a little reliving his gearing. Fiasco he had last time. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. All right, so, Mr. Bosemark. Benson. Benson was the first ship I ever played competitive with. I was with Rays back in. Two I want the nice ship. If you can, if you can uh, get it going and get that combat instruction going, that's a strong ship. One time I pushed it in SOS, and I didn't realize it had torpedoes. I torped one, took it out, hit me with torps as well. Them things are kind of sneaky with the torpedoes. It's a match for the Wichita, that's for damn sure. Yeah, it doesn't quite have DPM, I think, compared to the Wichita. Because it does have the combat instruction, but I think it still loses a little bit on the fire rate. Not taking a talent, though, getting even further apart in DPM, but he does get range, and it looks like they're on sand and sea. This map is all about who's seeing each other first and who can reach each other further on this map, because you kind of can't get out of spawn without getting blocked here. Well, you're going to have the Hawk with its low detection. Yes, that you will, on both teams. And Akizuki would do very well on this map. <laughs> one you see them. I mean, I remember using Haruga more on this map, and I, I had fun with Alistair, but Jack took one of the freaking v42 that sucked nothing i could really do against that i just kind of had to buy time and drag him as far away from the viewers i could i was gonna lose no matter what all right here we go talon hawk olin versus hawk ignacio benson going old school for postmark yep all right let's get this going here remember who remembers when it was all benson with two hpds in comp i remember that that's all we had well, <laughs> it was all Benson's because it was either that or Kagero's. All right, so Oland, Hawks backing up the start, and Talon. Yeah, the Hawk backing up, I kind of get. Oh, yeah, you have to. All right, so we got some preemptive torps out from Benson. I don't know why Light fired them that early. They for sure will not hit anything. If he had went to maybe that island on the left maybe and shot him on the way, probably could have gotten something. Six Comet took a small hit and delivered one back into, uh, looks like he might have aimed for the Hawk. Matt took a hit from the Hawk in the back. All right, well, Six is kind of having to kite Benson. away. Benson dropping the smoke. He has no torpedoes to fire out of that smoke. The Ignacio Allende going really wide and out. 
Yeah, like I said, he looked like he kited it away a little bit there, and uh, I mean, he did take a take a decent hit to start, but Bowen's taking a big hit there. Yes, he is. Same thing for the Benson. All right, Benson's in a good spot behind the aisle and can sit there and stew for a few for a few, get his detection back down. Torps coming in on Chris. Will they connect? They run out. Yep, they're out. All right, here comes the uh, Ignacio again up. A little bit of a war of attrition here, but it's not really, uh, yeah, this, <laughs> you almost hate to see it. This one could be a draw, <laughs> the way they're going. No, this one is not going to be a draw. You see what life goes on? Ah, uh, he's making a, like I said, he, he, he went cap. dark, and he's going for the cap. Matt smart play, smart there. play. And now their cap's going to be in danger. Now, this is the kind of play I was hoping the Benson would do. But it's got the Olin coming in 12 o'clock towards it. But hey, with that Olin drag out, there's nothing that can harass uh, these two ships up north. And they've already got the two ships. The green team's good then. Yep, and now... Uh, Benson torpedoes are keeping them out of the cap for right now. Yes, they are. I was going to say, good screening torpedoes there. Look at Light taking reverse position. Very wise move in his smoke. He can easily run away when he needs to. Matt I just... Would stay in that cap, though. Matt just... Came in and took that torpedo, though. It's like you lost the steering gear, had to damage con that. What Light needs to do is he has got to run. Forrest, run. He goes right out, drags Matt out. All he has to do is disappear. And this most mark now has got the whole team in his hands. All he's got to do is dodge salvos and go ball. I mean, Chris is, uh... Taking a little bit of help, you know, uh, he's taking, yeah, well, he's, he just got hit again. Taking big hits there. That's just straight from, that, that's just the Hawk hitting him. That's why they brought the Benson down, because they were seeing that Hawk was going to be in danger, and they tried to see if they could get what they could off of him, try to give him a chance to come back. And in this case, uh, Light's doing exactly that. He's got them two ships looking for him, and sends out Torps again. Yep. Ignacio might be looking maybe for something on the open. Matt's going to just Matt. dodge one. Still 426 to 426. That's, uh... All right. And the question is, the battles of the Hawks there. Hawks shooting at Ignacio now, so uh, Chris is fine. And he's I moving up to a strong position. I want to say Crab's just going to take out Chris. I think that might be the game. Yep, that's going to that that is going to be the game. Maybe not. Torps come Benson go out. Olin Torps toward the Benson. Benson turns, turns. Benson dodge very narrowly. And Benson and Torps aren't going to hit anything. So yeah, it's just Hawk versus Hawk now. This I think is the outcome of the the, the yeah. game right here. The Hawk. The Hawk, though, did fire on the Ignacio, and now he's had his health taken off. Now it's about even between the Hawks. Oh, Hawk torpedoes incoming. This could be interesting. Chris is kiting away, which is a, a great play. Benson coming in again. Oh, he's Crab, crab could take these torpedoes. He could take both of them. And he will get that exactly. And look at Chris setting up a position to turn and dodge. But look at Light. Light in trouble here. One, two Olin Torps there. And a little too aggressive. But I don't know if Matt's going to... Matt, yep, Matt took him out. Matt got him. Matt got him. Great shot by Matt. If Chris gets crabbed, if Chris gets crabbed they will be up on point. And Crab's not in a good position now. He's backing up with only two turrets versus Chris's three. The Ignacio Allende is also taking punishment. Now his question is: Is Matt in position to take out the Ignacio? Now, he Comets, Comets kiting away. I don't think he can do it. Here comes some another uh, speculative torp drops here. This time by the Ignacio. I think Chris is going to take out Crab here. All right, Matt's starting to fire on uh, Chris. Yep. Crab okay. Goes down now. Now the uh, minute twelve is now. Up to 20 points. Now all Chris has to do is can, use that speed and get away from Matt. Can he go dark? He's taking punishment. But the Talon has less DPM than a Wichita. He's got 
50 seconds. The uh, Maceo is definitely safe. I yeah. don't know if Chris has a repair left. If he doesn't have a repair, he, he could be out here. All right, yeah, like I said, this is this is, this is it right here. If he can get, if, question if he can go dark or not. And if Matt is, Max is, should be able to lob the island. They got to detect him. They got 30 seconds. And here's the shot that's going to finish. Nope, he's out. Chris was running on hopes and prayers. That shot missed. 20 Matt seconds left. They don't know where he is. That was a blind shot. It is this close. Hawk on 10% HP. Oh, here, come, here comes, here comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, 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 five. He's on fire. Oh! He goes down. Wow. That was that close. Wow. That's amazing. That was a good play. What a... Chris played good. He was second out of there. Two wow. Out of there. Well played. Was Matt shooting AP and then switched to HE, or was he shooting HE the whole time? That's a good question. That was a great game, though. Maybe he switched to AP and got that Hail Mary fire. Matt's saying zero pens on Hawk. That was AP. When in doubt, HE doesn't bounce. All right. And Epicent. Now you're on to a more boring map for three ships because of these and kind of just can't move. I, I don't know. Epicenter really hasn't, like, doesn't, like, appeal to me in top for some reason. I don't know. Never liked it too much. I like Domination better. Well, Epicenter has some game. interesting, they have some interesting plays on that. Can be interesting yeah, plays, I should say. Yeah, like this last ruler of the waves, I liked the plays I saw in Epicenter. Even for Epicenter, I would regard being a pretty bad map. Like, All right, right, so this is going to be great, man. We got to, because the winner's bracket finals are best of three. So See, this is the game that decides it. They already started. Oh. My bad. All righty. So this could be the game that decides it. Brad Matt London versus Chris Six Light. This one's all about cap control. Who's going to control the caps? And who's going to get spotted controlling the caps? Well, I'm taking a quick look. I would think Team B, Red Team, is a little more mobile, I would think, than Green. Ignacio is probably a little faster than Talon. All right, so looks like Owen had a little connection issue there for a second. I had to change my internet in the middle of one of the games because his blitz was lagging out, freezing. Kind of missed part of what happened to Jack there. I thought he wasn't, uh, he was spotted because I didn't see part of what happened to him there. All right, the Hawks are just going to be caddy cornered and uh, caddy cornered to each other and just be content to try to hold the outer cap. Oh no, Crab's pushing in. A little aggressive there, idea. trying to catch that middle cap or the middle ring. No, let's Not a see. Bad but idea at all. He no. Can help his team take the inner ring. Oh, hell of a hit on Benson light. Taking a big hit. Hell of a hit on light there from Mr. Matt. That's the kind of hit that'll turn your lights on. All right, now let's see what the torque drops do here when the DDs are contesting that center cap. There's one, one right in back of it. Olin torque's going out. That Benson's got to pull forward quickly here. Yes, he does. Those those Just torpedoes are screaming. Hit, there's more where that came from. The Owen leaves the cap. Red team gets the center. All right. So, yeah, he's going to dodge the torps. He's still going to take a – no, he, he – he, he, I thought he was going to take a bigger hit from that hawk than he did. And red team now taking the outer ring. Red team is in the advantageous position now for points. Ignacio's kiting away there but still in the ring. He's got to keep it in that ring. That's how they're holding their advantage right yep. now. And it's the Owen kiting around backwards. This leaves the middle firmly in the hands of Team B. Now the question is, well, no, if this is, the old one was able to pop into that out of ring for a second, they could have flipped it, but I'm not sure if the he Olin can spot or not. For the middle. And Olin appears to be very focused on trying to unstick that Benson. 
Ah, uh, he's wedged in there good. Oh, Owen was spotted there. Here comes a. Uh... Yeah, he got we lucky there. A very narrow miss there. Very Not narrow. All right, Matt starting to flank around. I'm not sure who they're going to try to catch out, though, because the Hawk and the Ignacio are in good spots. That Hawk's got four guns on Matt when he comes around. Yes, he does. Benson's in a good spot. Crab's going to start taking a lot of heat there. He can. Uh, he's going to get crossfired a little bit. I'm expecting Matt to take a hit from the Hawk right now. Or maybe, they, maybe the Hawk had fired on Crab Hunter. It looks like that's what happened. Well, they are trying to get that Benson out of there, but Light's, Light's playing it great, and they're playing uh, using that island for cover. Yeah, they're going to start working being, that hawk down. He's just being annoying, which is exactly what he needs to be with Benson. It's a maneuverable DD. It's got a good balance of everything it offers, and that balloon just can't get broken. He can't. And now, so maybe can Matt hit Light from that angle? It's possible he can. Yeah, a little hit. All right, they've almost they almost got the middle ring flipped almost. Red team's up by 30, 25. But at what cost? Cuz to get that in the ring, they got to keep that hawk in that vulnerable position. Matt takes a hit now. Yes, he did. All right, Owen torpedoes out towards Benson, but he's going to safely duck behind that island. He's he's got himself in a great position. Owen took a decent hit for its uh efforts there. Matt's flanking a little bit. See if he can catch. I don't think he can do enough, though. This game's Matt's going to have to be the play of this game. Because yep. right now, his two teammates are trying to keep themselves safe. Crab's in a bad spot at a quarter health, so this is all on Matt to see what he can do. Matt turning into the island. London calling. He's trying to outrun those Benson torps, but I think one's going to catch him here. Definitely going to catch uh, one. Oh, he just dodged out. No, he got it. Well, he got, got it. A little slow. Crab's in a bit of trouble. The hawk. Nope, runs out before it gets to the hawk. The outer ring, or sorry, the inner ring looking pretty good for red team. Red team is behind on points, but they won't be for long. No, so not with them flipping that sent yet. Not with them flipping that ring. And now look at Light. Light's on a good position versus this Oland right now. Starting with guns on him. And Ignacio put shots so on Oland. All that Benson has to do, yep, turn and go backwards to the right. Nice dodge. Come on, a little bit more. There you go. Oland is running off again. Yeah, he, God bless him. He was able to dodge out of most of that. Light's keeping it sharp on that movement. On look, that at, look at Matt pushing the center cap. Matt's pushing hard. Matt's going for it. He's a lot of damage on that uh, Hawk. He pushed it out of the core again. You know, Hawk is, is Matt's target right now. He was last game and will be this game too. The question is, can Matt take him down without uh, help from Crab? Crab's in the back looking at his wounds right now, so it's all on Matt. Ignacio's pushing up to help. Matt's pretty healthy, That's though. That's the first hit. He's almost got the middle flipped over. 50 seconds left. Yeah, I think Matt will get that hawk. I think he's going to. Oh, they're coming in with, they're coming in to help Matt, green team. Oh, oh yeah, we go. Hawk's finally. Left. Hawk goes down. Still 20, 20, only 20 points. 30 seconds left. I don't think they have a hit they can deliver. I think this is it for winner's bracket. I think you're right. Light, get, Light got himself a little out of position to do a torp run on anybody. So it's a question, can... Matt's I'm, taking punishment, but I think I don't. Able yeah, I think it's a little too late. Nice, nice you... <laughs> Nice using the dot the islander to help uh, swing your shipper on the dodge those uh, shells. Down like a pie bar. And another win for team two. Wow. Matt bringing that on his back. Good play by Crab keeping it together. That Oland eighteen hundred damage. Yeah, that Oland was a punching bag. That guy did not have fun that one. That's kind of my you know kind of the experience with Oland. I've been told nobody's afraid of Owen. 
All right. Let me see if I can get the loser's bracket here, Rob. We got Team 10 versus Team 3. 10 versus 3. Okay. Let's see if we can get ourselves into that one. jump in there so I'm just gonna have to uh, drop a uh, message at red I hate to jump in their voice chat while they're uh, in the middle of a game rapping. while they're rapping <laughs> Team, yeah, Team 10 beat, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, looking at the bracket here, we got, obviously, we got Team 2 sitting there in the, uh, going into the grand final, Team 1's going to go down to the loser's bracket final, and then we're trying to figure out who Team 3 and Team 10 are uh, going to, who's going to win that one, and I can't believe Team six got knocked out by team three in, in the uh, losers bracket round three. That was a hell of an upset. It was gonna be a tough game no matter how you slice it. I wish we could have watched that one. I was want I was wanting to watch that one. This last game we had was great though. Oh, that was fantastic. What a fantastic match. That that first that first one there. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Talk was Matt was like, man, no pens. Matt, you got your pens, pal. Glad you got them that time. All right, Red said they just got out of losers bracket round four. Team one invites us now. Okay. Sounds good. So team three beat team ten. So elephants team went down to. The gaming dino and the, his uh, little Batman and Robin, they're the dynamic duo of the gaming dino and Mr. Steve. <laughs> Batman and Robin. Who's Batman? Who's Robin in that story? Depends what ships they're playing. They are, uh, yeah, they're pretty crazy. Indeed. So Red's looking for an invite from Light. And then we're hoping for an in we'll get an invite from them, so we'll be going into the losers bracket final. This is gonna be a good good set of games too, though. Indeed, it will be. That's two really good teams going in there. Uh, yeah, might have to might have to beg, please invite, please invite. And then uh, the losers bracket final is gonna be Cage Epicenter, Sea of Fortune, yeah, Domination, and if applicable, Islands Base Capture. If they have to go to a, a game three. Island base capture, man. We're we gonna be bringing out Mikasos and Eries or what? <laughs> Tier eights on that side of the map. Come on, you'll cross it in three seconds. I think that's the point. Get it out. Get it over with quick. <laughs> yeah, get it over with in the craziest way possible. Can you imagine three Atlantic subs on islands? They don't even have to leave the cap. There's a damn secondary overload. They can reach across everything. No, oh, that'd be just downright nutty. All right, come on, guys. Sometimes you got there we go. Sometimes I got, got the it. invite. Sound good. Get you in here. Oh, where'd you go? There you are. Audacious Napoli in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's going with Benson. I like that Benson. I am glad to see that choice. I'm glad to see something other than Lightning. And Dino took him in Ireland as well. Olin Benito in Edinburgh. Y you know, Benito hits very hard with sap, but me and my guys, we call that thing blind rum. That thing can pop the play sometimes. It just doesn't want to work with you. Even Edinburgh. Edinburgh has a very good tech team. It's, it, you know, it grew on me as a, as a, uh, as a ship. All right. So we got the Hawk, Ignacio Benson versus the Vent Ventorio, the Edinburgh. And in Oland. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I understand the Oland with the radar, but I, I don't know if that's the, uh, the, 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 the proper play here. 
Yeah, I kind of said earlier with uh, London, uh, the one they won that game, I think maybe something that hits a little harder can be a little better. Because, I mean, you saw that old one last game. That guy just couldn't catch a break. He paid for it. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, it is a it is a bit of a comfort pick, but I'm glad to see the Benson out instead of a Lightning. Oh, yeah, I'm very happy. I was I, I was saying, man, bring an Akizuki. On sand and sea, an Akizuki would have rocked the house. But I'm good to see good to see a Benson. Like most Mark, he's been playing since 2018. He's playing like it's still 2018. I can respect that fully. It's a nice aggressive spot he's picked there. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, he's kind of he's kind of nowhere near the middle, and Dino's going straight for it. But hey. said his team will take the outer ring. Yeah, they might uh, they might give it to him. You know, let him take it. Well. I don't know. Red's been uh, he, he's slowing down there. He might not be. He's not going in. Everybody's kind of playing it safe, and and I'm kind of liking where uh, Light's positioned himself there. He might be able to catch somebody. Doesn't, Red doesn't want to give away quite. Uh, uh, Blue don't want to give away quite where he is. What's what? What's the thing? Red died in that in-game he's blue. Maybe, maybe change his name to Purple. Settle the. Uh, yeah, it's got to confuse everybody. All right, we finally got shots out. Anyway, Red doesn't want to give away his position, I don't think. That's why he hasn't gone to the middle. I'm assuming All right, there's light going in. He's going to jump in. I said, I think this is a little bit of a... Uh, everybody's just kind of... Uh, All right, Owen steps into the cap, keeps the Benson from taking it. The Kazura Miller scout plane is taking off. He is looking for a long range style going. What is it going to be, and Mark? Is it against the Hawk? No, oh, he just shot at the Hawk before, so he's got to be uh, following up Keeping on him. that heat. Yeah, I forgot about that. Benito does have that scout plane. That increases the range of it. The middle cap remains still. Here comes Steve. Steve's going to come in to help uh, Dino take the cap away. Now, here's the question you pair the radar with the Edinburgh's guns, and if they can catch light out. That's not going to go well. That's all I do know. All right. Nice Light's screening got torps. torps or Steve's got to react. Yep. Nice screening torps there. I don't think they're going to catch Steve. Got to throw that thing in reverse. Oh, Sap Salvo out on Ignacio. They were hunting. They were hunting for light. That's why they pushed in because uh, Kyle switched to Sap. Steve pushed up. They were hunting for light. Looks like they might have glanced light. Another good hit on that Hawk there. I think those are torpedoes from Yolen. So they got the middle cap, but they're still behind on caps now. Now, green team has inner and outer range. Ignacio's got a move. He broadsides. Just took the first. There's many big hits that'll be coming his way. Owen Torp's going out toward the Benson. Trying to reach out like antennae and feel what's going on. Yeah, like I said, they... They did get cap control back, but at what cost? Or they took a, a pretty good hit. Everybody took some uh, punishment for that. Yeah, and I think maybe these Owen Torps, maybe one might catch that Ignacio. Mm, no, it no, ran out. Keep that out. Like coming back in for the middle. The Red's already going in there to uh, hold that cap, and there's Steve oh, right there. Oh, lights and yet. Yeah, light not spotted, light spotted. Look at that hit. Boom, first one. Steve and smokes that, up. That not a good position. There's another hit. Sap coming in over his head. Another hit there. So I said we can get the sap salvo in. Lights out. He's safe. Steve, yeah, Steve's uh, safe in his smoke. Lights probably had what I'd call a brown pants reaction. Yep, definitely a code brown. brown there. All right. Red team's got the uh, middle cap and the center. Look at the Hawk juking past those Olin torpedoes. And yet, Light is still aggressive, even after all that punishment. Still going in for Steve. I'm not, I don't think he's detected quite. He's no, I don't close. think so. Ignacio's taken a decent amount of damage from Steve. Yeah, as it is right now, you got Green Team, they're kind of spaced out the red team's got the caps and they're not very easy to take out here. no and then look at that aggressive just took, just took a big hit yep look at that aggressive position uh Cass has put himself in that Benito. look here 
Look at Steve. Steve can see that inner ring was taken. Who knows where that Benson is now? All right. Benson's got Torps out on Benito, though. Gaz will probably... Yep, he's going to turn the throttle on and try to outrun it. He's definitely going to take at least three. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits, five hits, and a damage mm. control. Mm, that, that didn't display the same on my screen. Looks like he only had one on my end. But I saw the damage update. So now it's going to be Benito versus Hawk, it looks like. But this is going to be a tricky situation because this Ignacio is on low health, and potentially this Benson can get pretty easily trapped by this Edinburgh. Benson's smoking up, going at blue, and blue's going right in. Nice torpedo. I mean, I think Dino's got life boxed in like a turtle's peck. Yep, he's up. out. He's out. Nice torps by Red. Red team's going to take this one. I like Sick Comet, though. He's staying aggressive. He's done some good damage to Steve. Steve was looking over where light was, and now he's got to adjust to get it back where he needs it to be. Aiming with back guns. Those torps aren't going to miss, but they're going to keep him at bay. And Chris doing the same thing he was doing earlier with that really good kite position. But now yeah, he's on but fire. that's uh, that's game that, that's game set and match there for. Talk goes down. But I gotta say though, for starting the fight with half HP, he did a great job doing damage to that uh, Benito. Six comic goes down to the Edinburgh. That was a good trade at the beginning. Red team just had the oomph. Was that, was that a best of one? No, best of three. I said two people just leave. Let's bring them back. They're not done yet. But wait, there's more. I don't know. I got people telling me they can hardly hear, but if I'm checking in on the stream myself, I can hear everything just fine. So I don't know what's going on. There they come. They thought they were done. That's uh, best of three. Yeah, like I said, this is... Mark like Buzzmark logged out, man. He thought that was it. Somebody ring that man telephone. Come on, you old Benson. Give him a, give him a shot of espresso. Got to get them bones moving. One more. Hey, it could be two more. They could win. Ain't the time to bow out yet. So I don't know what's going on. I guess I got people in my chat telling me that the sounds sounds weird, but when I'm checking in it on myself, everything sounds fine. I mean, us being quiet versus the whole echo deal you were talking about, I'd take it being oh, quiet. Oh, hey, my, my, I finally got to know that my uh, subscribe bot thing works. Jinx just subscribed. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's a that I, that's a. Uh, personal victory that my uh, little notification thing finally works. Looks like Light had to leave. It's unfortunate. So we play it two on two? Could make it a destroyerless game. Be a little more boring, but it would be... Uh, Give us something to do. All right, Bismarck. We could change it. We could change it to islands and do two v two. Yeah, like I said, that's uh. Oh, I don't know. Let's see what they're talking about in the uh. 
Let me see what they're talking about in Discord there. Steve, I kind of think they were. That was their third. They're going to have to hunt for one now. Um, there you go. Bring Marchman in. I don't, we don't have a rule about... Uh, People playing for two teams. Yeah. I mean, this is the this is the December when we played against each other in the finals. We did have a uh, war gaming sponsored prize, and they did sponsor this month. Yes, they did. Which Let's uh, keep the show going. Kudos to war gaming here, and I don't see that we have a. And I'd be willing to jump in and play if they need somebody. What could possibly go wrong? Is there anyone else that wants to play? Nah, I think they're. I think they're. Uh, they're letting. What they can say, one of us can jump in there. All right. I'll jump in then. You want to, all right, yep, he jumped up to their voice chat. I said, well, let's see. I, hopefully the sound is fine. Like I said, I've been messing with it all night trying to get this uh, to fix, get this fixed, and checking it on my end. All right, here we go. So the Vittorio, the Edinburgh, and the Olin versus the Hawk, Ignacio, and Palisite joining in with the Lightning. And this is the loser's bracket final. This is game two of a best of three. All right, so we got mirror spawns. Destroyer battleship versus each other and the cruisers versus each other and sea caps. Let's question to see how they're going to push this. All right. Nasio's just going to push over. He's going to let sea cap go. They're going to push over and try to get a strong side going here. Uh, try to catch these guys over at a cap. All right, Palisite and Red are going to... Uh, Contest A together. Looks like the battleships are holding back a little bit. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, he's just coming straight over. Okay, so C is going to be uncontested and go to the red team. Destroyer is both contesting A. Palisite dumps out some speculative torps. And looks like he's going to give the cap up to red. I don't think anybody spotted. Oh, Hawk's coming in. Uh, Red's got a nice set of torpedoes out on him. All right, Hawk's definitely spotted. Hawk's going to eat a torpedo. Yeah, he, well, he dodges one. Catches one torpedo. No flood. So lucky there. All right, Red team's in control of two caps. To nothing. Here comes the Edinburgh with Steve. Gonna he's gonna be able to take B cap free. Let's see if this uh, very passive play style. Let's see what happens here. All right, torpedoes back out from uh, Red. Palisite dodges one, dodges them all. Hawk's gonna catch. Hawk's going to dodge him out, but took a nice big salvo from Vittorio. 
All right, green team's finally recapturing A cap now. Red's back way out. I'm wondering what's going on there. Edinburgh's got shot us out of Ignacio. Looks like a nice little trade there of damage. Hawks pushed up into A cap now. Ignacio right behind. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see how they're going to play this. Yeah, like I said, I think the cap control going on the red team there is a little too too much. Looks like they're all stalled out now, so uh Imperial's taking some hits, but I don't think it's enough. Steam put a speculative Steve set on a speculative Doom Spear into A Cap. Hawks now taking some big, big hits now. Here come some torpedoes from the Oland. Is that going to start a flood? Yes, it will. It took, what, four of them? So there's a damage con up. So, uh, yeah, let's we'll see if we can, uh, Red can get a permafire on him. And the Hawk might be out of it. Doom Spear out of Ignacio. He'll miss those. Hawks, Hawks in trouble, got to back out. Little Palisade almost ran into those. Steve's at half health facing the Ignacio and the Lightning now. Torio took take a torpedo hit from the Lightning, so but he, uh, he's looking all right there. Question is, can Chris go dark in that Hawk? But with two minutes and 40 seconds left on that cap control is, uh, that's hurting them. Steve's going to catch a couple torpedoes from Ignacio. Oh, let's see what happens here. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, the shot from Vittorio takes out the Ignacio. Steve probably, uh, he's in big trouble. Let's check out Red here. Hey, Steve did his job, though. Red's hunting for the, uh, for the Hawk right now, trying to get him spotted. Yep, there's shots out from Vittorio on him. Yep, that's the game, boys and girls. Yeah, it seemed a little passive, but you know, to be fair, the guys were playing with a with a fill in. Steve made it through there. I can't believe he made it through that battle. Nice dodge of the sap salvo from Vittorio. And that's the ball game. All right, so. Good game, though. Good, good, good series. We'll hear from Palisade here in a second. So now we're getting ready to go into the grand finale here. Another best of three. So we got team two with Matt. Crab. It's going to be an interesting game there. Now, winner of this gets a uh, tier six ship, or uh, the, the winning team gets tier six ships. 
Second place team gets their choice of the combat camos for six days, and the team number three there that just finished third gets six days of premium for more gaming. So it's nice that they actually came and helped. Uh, they nice that they went ahead and uh, helped sponsor the tournament for once. I should say the second time now. So now we're just going to be waiting for uh, Palisade to come back on and then an invite for the winner for the grand finale. Get an invite here. Let's get this going. There's our invite. Bring Palisite back in. <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna be a, a heck of a heck of a game here. Matt London calling versus Red, the blue gaming dino. See if uh, Palace can get back in here. Yes, he can. All right. Perfect. All right. So Red, the Blue Gaming Dino. Looks like he's going to stick with Olin. Steve's probably sticking with the Edinburgh. Kaz has just been fantastic in Veneto tonight. And it looks like Crab's going to stick with the Hawks. So yeah, it's basically the same lineup we saw earlier. Hawk, Talon, Lightning versus Olin, Edinburgh, and Vittorio. Hey, I'm back. I forgot my ass kicked. How's it going? <laughs> you guys seem like hey, you I played that a little passive. Kaz one shot me. He wanted the one shot me. I know that. All right, so we got Battleship we go. and Destroyer at A and C for, for, uh, on the respective teams, and Cruisers by oh, B. Oh, we're on Okinawa. Okay. Yeah. This map could be a lot of fun. All you got to do is play the Cruiser. This map's all about the Cruiser, and the Battleship goes wide C8. It looks like they're bringing the Veneto towards B instead, so they're yeah. relying on the Olin to get A. Yeah, they're going to let uh, the Olin take A with the uh, Vittorio backing up the Edinburgh. Matt's got to get, he's got to get right on that side of that island, sitting in the cap, and help up London. That's a very strong position when you put a cruiser on that corridor. So they're just going to the, let the battleship cap and let's see what happens in B. Yeah, Maybe those he, islands, those he, islands are, are great to uh, to work with in this on this map, especially in a 3v3. Yeah, the islands are everything this map's about. All right, red looks like he ran into an island. Island hopper simulator. All right, well, caps are in favor of the green team now. So now it's just going to be the question: Who's going to pop out? Who's going to give? Who's going to give the first good shot to somebody? Surprised Matt hasn't come around with the hawk, you know. Come in to be a co cohesive hitting unit. Maybe he's trying to see if he can poke over the island and blind fire Steve. This is such a it's going it's going to go from such a slow crawl to an all about just bar brawl here in about thirty seconds. Owen gets in B. 
Matt might be able to maybe throw something on that Oland. All right, Lightning just took a big hit from Steve in the Edinburgh. That corpse coming out. Steve backs up. He's going to use that island to his advantage. Yes, he is. So those torps are... Uh... All They're right, here comes Matt back. pushing up on that side now. All right, Vittorio's out. Shots on Matt. Red, I thought he was going to... Big hit. Matt's being a little unactive right now, and he needs to get a little more vigilant. Like I said, it, it, it just turned into a brawl, a bar brawl here, because here comes the Hawk in. Hawk's going to fire on Benito. Nice hit. Here Hawks comes the Doom Spear going from out Steve. Towards Hawk. Torpedoes in from Oland. Oh, let's see. This is going to be a gangbang for this Hawk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He ate every torp. Every torpedo. Wow. Doom Spear out on Venito, but I don't think that one's going to connect. Matt's trying to cover. London Colin just took a pretty big hit from Steve. Matt's trying to see if he can cover Crab and put something on Steve behind that island, but. Yeah, Hawks on Permafire now. Uh, good Lightning Torps to the Benito. Benito's going to take most of those. Well, yeah, he did. I didn't think they were going to make it. Yeah, they got it. So now Matt and the Talon's going to open up on the Benito. He just got slapped by Benito. But Hawk's going to go down. Hawk's going to go down. Two fires, Permafire, he's down. That Olin poked out a little bit and used that island to spam some shells. All, all, right. these, all, they, all these guys got to do is push, and this one's going to be over. Yeah, I don't think Matt can take Benito out. I think he's going to get taken out here in the next couple salvos. He's going to try, but he's on the back foot now. From his position, I'd say he's been on the back foot since the beginning. Yep. Kaz just, he just popped the heel. He was hanging back trying to look for Steve. I had to push around to cover that hawk. All right, London Colin dropped the, uh, some torps out on Steve, but they totally missed. Red's sneaking around the island on him. Yeah, this is just mop-up duty at this point. I think it's possible Matt might be able to get Kaz. Kaz is starting to back up. London just took another hit. Yeah, he's running for his life, though, with those guys. Cass took a big hit from the Talon. Will the Talon be able to get him? London's about to go down. Yep, London, here he goes. Oh, he just dodged out of that. It's hanging on there. If he's flickering, he's on life support, though. Smoking, the shells are landing everywhere around him. Matt's going to try to push up and stop Steve from catching his teammate. Matt doesn't have the health to hold out, though. Kaz is uh, able to get some it. supporting fire. London's got some torpedoes out, though. Dino's going to turn and dodge, and he's going to fire his guns. There he goes. Yep. That's, that's game one. Bismarck, if you're still here, have a good night. Matt's oh, trying to game one. take the Benito. Benito gets Matt. Very good aggressive push by the red team. Edinburgh put some, the cruisers put in some work there. Like I said, that map's all about the cruiser. But they, I mean, Team B played that battleship very good. Brought it in, kept it aggressive, kept it hot, kept it in the fight. The Hawk, Hawk didn't play bad either. It's just he got got the whole ice cream sundae thrown on his face. Yes, there. he did. And Matt being where, where he was, Matt was so far out looking for Steve, and by the time he got to the Hawk, it was too late. All right, so we're going to Aurora Domination, and if we do go to a Game 3, it's Arena Center Control. Aurora Domination, the classic map of rank. 
Either hard push A or you gotta take B. Tell you what, the old Rush A strat actually works pretty good. I learned that from Country Defunct Army on the Asia server. They, they're the ones that really do that hard. Like, they'd use a Takao, man. They'd use a Takao and fire eight corps in, plug it on that A island and shoot 16. I mean, they can connect. Who cares if it goes down? Do tons of damage. Oh, here's the question, dude. Would you, uh... I don't know if I'd switch out anything. They're all, uh... They've been pretty tight all night on what they're choosing. I said I'm not sure if I'd uh, if I'd switch anything out or not. go oh steve's taking a talent interesting all right let's see how they uh, how they play this I, I found it interesting like last month the first time i streamed this it was so interesting to be on this side of things looking at how teams were playing maps. I, I enjoyed commentating. I did it in SOS for a good long time. I can't anymore because the hour when I hour and a half I typically use, I got a meeting where that is now. So I can't play and I can't commentate. Can't have it either way. Alright, so, so... Hey guys. Never turned. Alright, we got we're we're in round two of the uh grand finale here. Yep. Good. All right, Red's pushing A cap with uh, Matt's Lightning's just gonna kind of hang cap. out. Lightning's taking B for free. They're spreading themselves out, Green Team. I'm kind of curious here to see how this one's gonna work. They're gonna try to see if they could take Dino up, put across. He's Matt down low, maybe they try to see, but now Matt's turning even further back. Yeah, he's definitely kiting out. All Crab right. bucket. Coming in, turning towards B. He's got, he's got the talent over his shoulder. And now look at this. They got two ships way down here, bottom corner, and they're going to take the caps away from them. Yeah, they're going to take caps. That's, uh... And now Crab is three on one. He's got to be detected, right? At least by the battleship, yeah. I mean, I know Hawk's detection range is down, but there's low. Yeah, I don't know. Matt's, Matt's backing up. He's committing to sitting that far away, too. Well, now he's putting it forward. They're going to have to catch up because now Crab's in trouble here if he turns in because they're definitely going to see him now. All right, here comes Old Red Torps on him. In. Lightning's going to take A cap. All right, crab, uh, crab dodged those torpedoes, no problem. Now, looks like uh, London Colin and Matt are going to push A. Yeah, they're, they're trying to see if they can uh, envelop them, but I don't think they're going to be able to do that very easily. Red's now jumping the into C free, the cap. You know, just free, C, he, so he's taking C free. All right, we finally got shots out. What a passive uh, early game here. Yep, and they're targeting the Hawk first. Yes, so they the are. the easiest one. I think what they're going to have Blue do is he's going to come down behind this Hawk, kind of prod him out a little bit with a little bit of force, a little bit of convincement, and they got these two ships waiting for him when he comes around. I don't know. Blue's turning goes. right into the uh, – he's turning into B-cap. Yeah, he's looking for the Hawk. I thought he was going to go behind the Hawk, but now he's going actually to try to defend B. Hawk takes another hit. Doom Spear out from the Lightning. They're targeting uh, Kaz, the other team. Lightning. Oh, those lightning torps look very good. They look good. He's turning out, but uh, it's going to be tight. Yeah, he's going to eat some torpedoes. Hold on. 
Hang on to it. Whoa, look at that. He took less than I thought he was going to get. Yeah, he did. Still, uh, that was a, a healthy chunk of, uh, well, the battle's just about equal now. That was a nice healthy chunk of, uh, damage he ate there. All right, what's yeah, Matt up to? All right, Matt's the Talons are going at it. One Steve. Yep. Matt and Steve. I think the Benito is too far away uh, for Matt to engage, so he's got to engage Steve. Steve's in a good position. All he has to do is turn and run now. All right, shots from Benito out of Matt. And now Matt's getting folded back. Now he's only got rear guns in the fight. He's winning the 1v1 against Steve, but Steve's getting going. And they're looking for Matt. Question is, Crab can Hawk is get shots up. on him? Steve took a big hit there from Crab, it looks like, or Matt. That was Matt. Here comes the Hawk shells in. The Benito's coming into B to support. Those lightning torpedoes are tracking. I'd be shocked if they hit C. Yeah, I don't think they can make it out that far. But I thought that before, and uh, Kaz got hit by torpedoes. Good at the moment, Steve. Well, yeah, they run out. I thought they were going to run out. Another big hit on Steve. Two big hits on Steve. All right, let's see if Steve Steve's survives taking, this. Steve's taking his, uh, his aspect of quickness potion. Can he get it out of here? He's healing He's back healing. up. He must be dark. They they switched to the Veneto. Yeah, he is. All right, <laughs> Doom Spirit Veneto. Two fires on the Hawk from Yoland. Lightning torpedoes towards Kaz. I think they're Kaz missing. Back a little further and those will miss. I think he's going to be able to pull it away. Very narrowly, those will miss. Well, red team's got a sizable uh, points advantage, though, right now. So they're forcing a, uh, they're forcing them to have to push up. Yep, and the Hawk pushed up. Here come Olin Torpedoes. Kaz will probably fire a salvo towards Hawk. Yeah, I'm watching him right up. There's dodge out of the, uh, the Hawk. Uh, the Hawk dodged the Benito shells, but here comes a... Uh, he got lucky, Old no flood. Torpedoes. No flood London there. Firing. Kaz has got another Doom Spear aimed at Kaz. Mm, I don't think those are going to be much better either. He's he not might. slowing down. No, he's pushing forward. Yeah, that's going to be a good hit. That's then. one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. No, five. Yep, he, he died. Number yeah. six. No, he got number six. He did. Okay. Crab's in trouble, though. Yeah, and Kaz might have been just been taking heat. I think Kaz might have bit off more than he could chew there. Yeah, he might have. But there's 20 seconds left. He's got to stay alive. He stays alive, just like earlier. This will be the game. But he goes down. He goes down. We're going to have to go to a third game. Yep, tied up. Interest, interesting games, though. Interesting how the, these are getting played out. Like I said, being on this side of it is just, it's fascinating watching. Can you guys, uh, I, I want to get on this last one. Yeah, I'll invite you, Jackson. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Don't kiss in. Oh, if, Lord. If you're on my friends oh, Lord, list. Lord. Yes, you are, sir. I've, I've got it if you don't. I got it. I, I sent him an invite. Uh, do you have to reinvite me? My thing just uh, can't damn it. All right, go ahead and reinvite me. I'm here. Hey, you're on the stream there, Mr. Uh, Potty Mouth. He's, he's probably Pardonnez still. Moi. I'm still. Mouth, he's probably still <laughs> cursing that last time FDR went after him. The what? What do you say? Uh, weird Hakuryu or something like that? No, 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 no. I said I said FDR is an overglorified Hakuryu. Yeah, no. A Kuryu Salvo's reload in before the time you can make a sandwich. And not everybody <laughs> hates you for using a Kuryu. All right. Kuryu is probably the most skilled Sivo. Nakimov actually is more skilled than a Kuryu, but everyone hates Nakimov too. Well, the, the meme was, was that FDR and Hakuryu are both uh, torp-based. Um, uh, 
uh, yeah. season was why I was making yeah. that. And then, and then, and then I was absolutely trolling with the Austin and uh, Gene on comment, but you know, it's neither here yeah, nor I mean, there. Yeah, I mean, they're different flavors. <laughs> I I like vanilla and there. cherry vanilla, you know. So yeah, honestly, so I should have I should have thrown in the San Martin is a better rooster comment, and then that would have that yeah. one would have been just facts. All right, it Jackson. Object- I mean, it objectively is. So, for those of you who don't know, Mr. Jackson here is actually the founder of this tournament. He's the Not big a- guy in charge. So we're going in. We got the Hawk, the Talon, the Lightning versus the Vittorio, the Talon, and the Oland. On arena center control. This is going to be a cluster. Oh, no. We, we purposely do this as a meme. It's just like, it's the last game. If, if we make it to this point, it's just, it's... Get it over yeah. with. You guys are you guys are going in. It's a uh, gladiator duel here. Oh yeah. All right. so, have this. <laughs> so Matt, uh, Matt looks like he's gonna. Yeah, he's just gonna stay in a kiting position. DDs are just gonna kind of. Uh, well, they're just circling the the cap zone here. And just keep it from switching. So it's a question: What are the battleships up to? Kaz is pushing up. Krabby's backing off. Torpedoes out from lightning. I don't think they're going to hit anything. Here Look, at some... hit. Look at that hit on the lightning. He got punished for that yes, one. Yes, he did. He got punished. And I don't think he's going to get much out of it. He may no. be lucky if he hits one or two I don't... on cause. Not sure he's going to hit any on them. We're going to find out. Mm, he's going to hit. No, no. He got punished for a whole lot of nothing there. Yep. All we'll right. Check this. Steve, check this out. Steve's flanking around. He's taking he some is. damage though, but he's flanking around. Maybe the hawk and the uh, and the lightning push together, perhaps, and try to flip the cap over. All right. Owen oh, torps in. But Owen torps are going to prevent that from happening. Well, Crab is keeping Steve pushed out of the cap, so Matt can push in on the Owen and the Vittorio. Crab's taking a beating and- for it though. Oh yeah, yeah Crab. So he can't. Crab's, he's not gonna be able to help anymore. All night. But he did his job against Steve. Steve is out of the game right now, so that's leaving Matt to go do what Matt does best, which is absolutely ruin everybody else's day. And this Vittorio is paying the price right now. Eh, Kaz is a good player, though. Yeah, Kaz so is I'm, a Kaz is in a strong position. Because Matt's going to yeah, have to like, go around the island now, so he's going to be, uh... Mm-hmm. His guns are going to be quiet for a second. Unless he's got shots on red. No, Kaz, just has to, Kaz just has to hold exactly where he is. He doesn't have to do anything. Like he I said, those, chip. Those, those shots on, on, the, on the Hawk really, uh... Really are going to keep the cap control the way it is. Alright, another Doom Spear out. I don't think All that's going to hit. All Kaz has to do is pull backwards. I think there's. I think. I think he's too far out of range at this point. Yeah. I, I think missed. they're. Well, they're going to miss either way. Yeah. And Red's just sitting there. He's just. He's just sitting there holding the cap. Yep. Red's doing what Red does best. All right, Matt has to push up aggressive. To keep going backwards and stay alive. Man, these guys are just trading punches, just back and forth. That's why I love this map so much. All right, I'm kind of was Matt just gonna hold up on the Islander. He's lost a lot of health in his in his push. I don't think Matt has a chance. Oh, Matt! I think All right, here comes okay. Here out. comes London. Smoke out. Oh, he's he's launching he, torps at blue. The blue's just gonna drive away from that. Maybe oh, yeah. Steve? Maybe this, Steve? I'm pretty sure this game is already over. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Unless Matt yeah, can land some torps on Kaz. Kaz. They'll probably get Kaz. Well, Steve did take a couple of uh, lightning torps. Oh. <laughs> Need the oh, Hawk no. to finish Matt off. Oh, boy. All oh. right. Matt's, left Matt's done. Matt. There goes Matt's Matt. Done. Oh boy, here we go. Now it's now it's the battle of wits here. 
Well, Steve's just going to back off. And mm -hmm. Blue's going to hold the cap. Yeah, Blue's going to hold the cap. Crab has Steve to can, push this. Yeah, Crab's got to push. They got to push this hard. And I and like I said, uh, Steve can just go back and go dark and rest. Yeah. Well, he's and still got, shooting, though. I guess I, he just, he's, he's, wanting to talk, he's wanting to talk. Man, he's he's Owen balling. Owen puts the corpse out. Look, Owen's oh. just going to turn and shoot the lightning. Like a choreograph. Look at this. Blue needs to light up. That was a big hit by that hawk there. All right, tight. Torpedoes out from London. He, he's 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 in trouble. Yep, that Owen finally started hitting them like I was thinking he was going to. Steve's yeah. got to chime in here. Yep, that's Ooh. it. There goes the lightning. Yep. Good games. Crab oh. hit. Blue there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There might be unless Steve. Well, Steve, Steve might can get be behind that crab. island. Steve's safe. Yeah. There's no Ooh. way that he and he actually he can take out he's gonna be able to take out Crab before uh Yeah. That corp will get him. Mm. Yep, yep, there it is. That's it. <laughs> and that folks is how you end a tournament. Great games though tonight. Ending talent made a... He got socked in the nose. Oh boy, needs, that's how you do it. Points. That is how you do it. Well, I want to uh, thank everybody for coming um, next month. Actually, before I get into next month, later this month, we have the off-season tournament, which will be another draft, another 3v3. It'll be Saturday after next. So it's the third Saturday. Um, it'll be another draft, and it will be banless. It'll be a banless 3v3, and it's going to be in Tier 10. So if you want to bring out your Incop, if you want to bring out your Z42, if you want to bring out your Halden Lou or your Louisiana or whatever else, this will be the tournament for you guys to do it. But um, I, uh, I hope to Jack see everybody again. Jack condones is burning the place down. Yes, I do. I, I do. Well, this is this is the one out back. This is the tournament that probably won't be uh, the sponsored monthly tournament. This is just going to be what we decide to do out back with the dumpster fire. <laughs> so Stoke the fire. Gonna... Stoke the fire. <laughs> we'll Jackson... Uh-oh, Jackson gave everybody matches and gasoline. Oh, crap. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it'll be, uh, but, um, it'll next... be interesting. The next, uh, what I, uh, I think the next tournament is going to be Tier 9, um, Tech Tree only. It'll be in May. It'll be the first Thursday in May. So uh, look forward to that. And um, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I think everybody, we, we, had, we had a few hiccups tonight, but that's usual. We're all, we're all professionals here, I promise. Well, uh, some of us are. Just <laughs> the name tag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, but I, um, I gotta go back and I, check out my uh, my 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 audio here because apparently uh, we had some audio bored? issues tonight. But uh, I'm oh, still boy. trying to work out the co-commentator thing, and uh, you know oh, we yeah. got hiccups. Yeah, and one last thing: this was a one-time. Um, this was this was a one-time sponsorship again. Be, and I don't know where it'll be. Um, another thing for all of you EU and Asia listeners, uh, there will be those tournaments coming up soon. Um, I don't have a date, but the voting has already gone out for EU. So that one is going to be rolling around in the next probably a week or two. Um, and, uh, Asia will be probably next month if I had to take a guess. But, um... Other than that, I think that's that's pretty much it for the night. I'm going to go mauled in my corner after throwing two games. And uh, <laughs> get every, get hey, it was, it was tough matchups for you guys tonight. I, I, with you guys, what was, I didn't see what you, I know you guys were watching. What did you guys think of that, that blind fire by Matt on me? That was, that was disgusting. I thought, I didn't, I thought Matt saw your torps. He didn't. I thought you were no, no. He got. Have you ever seen Greyhound? Have you ever seen the movie Greyhound, with Tom Hanks, the new no. Apple movie? No. There's a scene in it. So it's it's that they're in a destroyer and they're hunting U-boats. And at the end of the movie, they're hunting one of the U-boats and they get uh, air cover, 
and uh, the cat and Tom Hanks tells him Li light up that U boat with uh, gunfire so the the airplane can come in. I was what that Olin was doing was he re he kept shooting me and he was giving Matt uh, he he was giving Matt a target to shoot at and he lit me up. No, well, it happens sometimes. And with that, guys, it's getting late for me, so I'm gonna have to call it an evening. Yeah, appreciate you, appreciate you inviting me on so far. I fun. appreciate the uh, help. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. And Jack, yeah, thank you. Thank no you problem, for... Jack. You didn't throw as hard <laughs> as when you shot an island with Mecklenburg, so I'm proud I... of you on that. <laughs> God damn it, we're going. All right, guys. Yeah, exactly, Hiromi. There's a, every tournament has hiccups, so I apologize if there was audio issues tonight. I was trying to work.